Only in the wildest, most natural places do these brook trout still survive. Sometimes you realize that more important than the size or the numbers is to get away from everything and everybody and just go and find your own space. And uh, you can always do that on a brook trout stream because they don't live where the crowds live. So when I made my first bamboo rod, I made a rod for that. And uh, it was very full flexing and soft and easy. So even a four inch trout or a six inch trout was still, uh, still a lot of fun, you know. He got to show off a little bit and, and you got to enjoy playing him, uh, unlike some of the more stiffer modern rods, you know. You go your way, and I'll go main. Maybe someday, one day we'll meet further down the lane. You need a rod that can load up quickly and in just one back cast, maybe a roll cast, maybe even just a bow and arrow cast, put the fly in the water. Anybody pursuing these small fish in these small streams in the backcountry, you know, they're looking for an experience. And if the equipment can add to that in some small way, then uh, that would make me feel pretty good. These are rods that you should use your whole life. Um, use them hard, use them often, and then someday you'll pass them on and uh, someone else can do the same. And hopefully someone else after that, and maybe somebody else after that as well. You go your way, and I'll go main. Maybe someday, one day we'll meet further down the lane. Raise a glass. Go some way.